Now, to what extent... And, and the value they put on human life is very different from the value Americans to put what extent, on human to life. What, and I'm not, we're not talking about Americans. We're talking about the Bush administration here. To what extent do you think that those criminals that you've just talked about and the policies that your administration at that time pursued in Iraq were equally responsible for the killing of innocent Iraqis because, for example, you did not secure the borders of Iraq going into Iraq with 130,000, 140,000, which many people in the Pentagon at the time told you was not enough. You keep making assertions which are fundamentally false. There was no Correct. one. No one in the Pentagon said they were not enough. The president went around the room. He asked every one of them, do you have everything you need? Do you have the numbers you want? We went back and forth with the commanders in Iraq and, the, and at CENTCOM asking them, do they want additional forces? And the answer was no. And every time they wanted them, when it was yes, they were increased. Okay, so does that so make the numbers that right? Me, does that make the numbers you went into Iraq I, with right? Do you want to yell or do no, you want no, to have an interview? No, no, you have a choice. An you have a choice. I'm having an interview. You're, you're, I'm you're, 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 you're being true to form. No, no, but yes, I'm, you I'm are. asking no, you, No, say Secretary. yes I'm once. Just say you. yes I'm once. I'm asking you, do you think that the numbers you went into Iraq, the numbers of U.S. troops that you went into Iraq with, did absolve you from the responsibility of tens, maybe hundreds of thousands of innocent Iraqis killed by the coalition and those criminals that you talked about? Now, are you going to stop? Give me a straight answer. L look, I, you can characterize my answers any way you want, and you do it in a pejorative way. No, I'll which do it is, respectfully. Which, no, you don't at all. You're, you're, no. you're obviously, you, you, you are of, of that nature. It's clear that you're, that you're being, that you like to do that. No, I'm but, asking listen, you respectfully will you please, for facts. No, you're I mean, not. Don't, don't talk about the, You're that not being way. respectful. You're just talking over and over and over well, you and have repeating just, you have, yourself. You have, you have just disparaged me as a member of Al Jazeera, but that's okay. Just give me a straight answer. How did I disparage you? I said you're not being respectful. You're just talking over and over and over, and that's what you're doing. Okay, I'll listen Anyone to Anyone listening to this program can see that. Okay, give me that's a straight what answer, you do. Mr. Secretary. You know, I listen to you and I think to myself some this of This is the, not about me, Mr. The, Secretary. This is not, about me you're asking you're not gonna you a listen. question. You're not going to listen. You're not giving me an answer to my question. If you want to attack me personally, fine. But give me an answer to my question. Why should I do everything you want and you won't do a thing I want? Namely, it's not listen. the interviewer. <laughs> oh, really? And that gives you the privilege to be now, the Mr. way Secretary, you are? Secretary, seriously, just give me what an answer to my question. What do you mean seriously? I'm being serious. Okay. This is worthless. This is not an interview. You're haranguing. That's what you're doing. I'm listening to you. Just give me an answer. Well, now, my goodness, we've had a sudden change. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I suppose you're going to drop all this on the cutting yes. room floor. That's yes, what you do with it, I suppose, if you don't like it.